John's a two-year-old boy from the Dominican Republic. John was born with a form of ectopia cordis, as well as other congenital heart problems. John had two main problems with the heart. Ectopia cordis is when the heart has grown outside the chest, or the chest wall has not completely grown to cover and protect the heart. Most patients, about 90% of children who have it, and those who have surgery don't survive. In addition, he had something called Tetralogy of Fallot, which are four major problems with the heart, including a hole in the heart and a blockage of blood going to the lungs. He knows he's different because his mother has to be very protective of him. She basically follows him wherever he goes, and they don't want him to fall down. Even just bumping into a chair, something bad can happen to him. The idea here is that we not only fix his heart, but put it back in a location and cover it with the protective chest wall that we're all intended to have so he could have a normal productive life. Montefiore Medical Center has a tremendous commitment to social medicine and to the community, both in the Bronx and beyond. When I uh, asked the leadership here, uh, Dr. Ozawa and others, if we could bring this patient back and take care of them at our institution, because I felt that only in the United States at an institution like ours would we have the resources, our chairman of cardiac surgery, Dr. Mitchell, and others said, yes, absolutely, we support you. So one of the things we've really pioneered here at Montefiore is the use of 3D imaging. And we're doing that in various ways. One is we're using uh, 3D CAT scans to look at and plan procedures on the computer itself. The second big area of 3D technology is 3D printing. And we were able to use both of those in this case. We planned John's operation over approximately a four month period of time. The major complexity was the movement of the chest wall to cover the heart in the middle. And uh, this is something that took a lot of planning because moving the chest wall in three dimensions ran the risk of compressing the heart after Dr. Weinstein's repair. Entering his chest was unlike any other patient I've seen. One of the first things we had to do once we got in his chest was to open the left chest, put it in its normal position, and twist it in the normal orientation so we could recognize structures for a repair. So the goals were both for normal life uh, as well as survival and uh, Dr. Weinstein really focused on the survival aspect in terms of uh, correcting the heart deformity but his reconstructive surgery is what Dr. Garfine and I were really focusing on was giving him a protective layer over the heart. Dr. Tepper and I moved a portion of his chest wall which comprised segments of four ribs uh, and some cartilage and uh, chest wall muscle over into the middle to cover the heart where he needed protection most. So the surgery was a great success. We really got stable coverage over the heart itself. Dr. Weinstein corrected the heart deformity. His tetralogy is completely repaired and after the plastic surgeons have moved a flap of chest wall over the front, he has a very viable vascularized muscle and bone piece of chest wall protecting his heart that both in person and on CAT scan looks almost completely normal. As John grows, the normal portions of his chest wall should not only heal the part that we borrowed to cover the middle, uh, but hopefully the middle part of his chest wall will grow normally too. I think this is one of the greatest strengths at Montefiore is the way the disciplines come together all the different doctors, the multi-specialists for one patient. And I knew that bringing the patient here, we'd bring the best the medicine has to offer. Those of us who get a chance to help kids uh, are very lucky. And those of us who get a chance to take part in a procedure or a therapy that saves a child's life are even luckier still. Looking at the mom's face and that smile when he went home, you know you did a good thing, and that's, that's a, a feeling that I hope everybody gets a chance to experience.